Hey, welcome and welcome back. We left off last time with Wally. We brought him to Dreamlight Valley and something is going on right now. I'm not quite sure. Okay, Wally. All right, now let's go. <laughs> you best Whoa. Oh, look at all these quests. Oh, bunnies on this. I can't read through myself. Oh, I think this is... You want to catch bunnies running in the plaza? Let's do it. Bunnies on the run. I think this is an Easter thing. Oh. The extravaganza. Is that the plaza? That is not the plaza. Wally. Get to the plaza. Catch all the bunnies. I'm not good at this. Help. Ah. It's a squirrel. You are not a bunny. Bunny! Bunny! Bun bun! You are mine! Oh! Oh! Two more! Look at that! Whoa! Bunny two! Three! How many other? Four! And... Oh, there's a fist! Oh, sneaky little guy! Hi! Here you go, Wally! Where are you at? Twenty eggs. Oh, more than twenty eggs. Lots of eggs. Cool. That's cute. What else? Blooming and something. We'll see. You want me to help get gather flowers? Let's do it. Blooming and blossoming. Oh, that's a daily quest too? Wally. Do you have... Oh, there's so much to discover. Wally is curious, but still shy. I need to approach this carefully by... appealing to his curiosity. There are so many things here that you probably forgot about. Like castles and magic and... Goofy. I should introduce you to Goofy. It's good to be home. Wally. Introduce Wally. I need to talk to Goofy. Huh? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Introduce Wally to a friendly neighbor by talking to Goofy. And then... Also, craft a pretty flower basket for Wally. Let's go, Wally. Oh, wait. I should be able to craft it inside. Should that be outside? Can I have a garage? I would like a garage. Ooh, that is a pretty basket. Good thing I hoard stuff. A hoarder. Not really. Okay, Wally. Here's your basket. He's so excited! More eggs! Stop it! I really don't need all these eggs. What do you expect me to do with all of these? I'm supposed to sell them? Okay. 
Now, let's go talk to Goofy. Let's see. Map. Map, map. Goofy. What you doing? Oh, he's hanging out on the beach as he should be. Fishing, probably. Ah, oh, he blends in with that house a little bit, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. It's the orange. Howdy, pal. Oh, uh, wow, we got a lot to talk about, buddy, but I don't... It's good to be Anywhere. home. His name is Wally, and he's a robot. Our very own robot. I can't wait to talk to the little fella. Aw. Is he gonna hang out with Wally now? This is a quest. This is 100% a quest. Highlight it. <laughs> Aw, Goofy. You know, you seem familiar. We must have known each other before the forgetting. Goofy says to Wally. Hmm. Wally is a robot of little words. Oh, uh, I can already tell you're really sweet. Aw. Goofy. You would befriend a rattlesnake. Hey there, pal. How about a chat? Talk to Wally again. <laughs> Wally! For not being a very chatty robot, you do need to speak with me a lot. You seem more... Yeah, you seem more relaxed. Wally! Yeah, that does not seem... Really, that seems very... Very excited. What would you like to do now? We could pick flowers or feed animals. Oh, oh. Or we could do both. Anybody have carrots? I think squirrels might also like raspberries. I don't know. Let's, uh... Are you following me? Okay, good. Pick flowers... With Wally. Literally just any flowers. Let's go find a squirrel. La 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 la. Squirrel! Ooh, do they like apples? There was this one little gray guy. He hangs out over here a lot. Oh, hey, I knew you'd be here. How'd I know it? Aren't we besties or something already? I don't even know. Raspberries. Yay! That's adorable. Okay. Wally, now we need to pick three flowers. Different flowers. That's gonna prove to be difficult because I did a lot of foraging before I started this recording. Ooh, a flower! I just keep checking to see if Wally's still there. Wait, like, bud. We have to do this together. Two. It's like an exercise. Three! I think that was the same one as the white one, it was just a different color, so does that count? I'm really glad we got to do all these things together. Do you feel like you belong here a little more? Aww! Good to be home is complete! Woohoo! You wanna show me something? Lead the way, Wally. Village Project The Garden. Quest started. Oh no, what have I gotten myself into? 
I'm wondering when we could unlock his garden. I'm sorry, Wally, I'm slow. I'm not a robot with speedy zoom zoom legs. Wish I had robot legs. Not literally, I do not. No. If that had- if that was the only option, then yes. <laughs> you want to use this old dirt pile as a garden? Directive. We can, but we'll need to get to get other- a lot of equipment. <laughs> we'll need to find seeds, dirt sacks, and a trellis. Okay. Yes. Talk to Wally again? Okay, gather the items required to start the garden. Five sugar cane, five wheat seeds, so that's seeds. Uh, craft a trellis and craft some burlap bags. I'm looking. <laughs> Where's Goofy's house? Is that my house? That's good enough. Okay, we'll get the seeds in a second, but I need to go see if I can craft that stuff. Is it craftable, Wally? Soil? Okay. Okay, I need fiber. How do you get fiber? With seaweed. Fiber! Okay. Wait, oh, there it is. I was like, where'd it go? That would absolutely not be fair. And then a trellis. I don't know how many of these I needed. That would have been handy. Okay, I need two more burlap bags. Okay. Good to know. Would you other? Oh no. That's a bummer. How many? Okay, so I need more fiber. Not a bad thing to need. Maybe. Oh. That was a lot of fiber. Did you see that? A hundred and... <laughs> that was a mistake. I just needed a single burlap bag. And then I made like 40. Okay, weed seeds and sugar cane. Now, if my memory serves me correct, sugarcane is in the Sunlit Plateau or the Dazzle Beach, but I can't remember which, or if I'm even right. Or is it sold at the first stall I ever opened? I know weed seed is. Oh no. What? Today. Oh my god, I found the sugar cane. Good to see you. How did I just notice that? I need to buy like a bunch of sugar cane, but. And then five wheat seed, which we can get from the first one we ever opened out in the peaceful meadow. I know that. Those are a dime a dozen. Hey there. 
Okay, they're a dime apiece. Hey there, pal. Did I just buy carrots that? instead of leaves? They're a penny! Whoa. Bring Wally the items required to start the garden. Wally left me? Wally, I thought we were hanging out. That's understandable. Wally, I have garden materials. Are you sure you want me to bring them all the way up there? That's an unfortunate hike back down with them for you. Although these characters always seem to think they have pit down this bottomless pitless down this bottom this pockets. Do you have everything you need for your garden, Wally? Yay! I can't wait to see what you do with it. Yay! We started his garden, finally. Now, the painful process of upgrading it. It is so ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> Let's go! Show me something. Uh oh. A compressed garbage incident. Decompressed. Wally, what is the problem? Those cubes compressed of compressed garbage. You know you don't have to do that anymore. Wally. Well, if you're set on doing it, the least I can do is help you. I can remove the cubes. Stomp stomp. Remove the compressed garbage that Wally created in the village. Wally. Stop it. What are you doing? Pooping this out. Pooping out trash. Why am I stomping on it? Ah. Okay. A strange machine was hidden in one of the cubes. Bring it to Wally. Oh. There's more. Wally! Looking at the boot. Wally, Wally, come back. Oh, I already had it. I found some weird stuff in the garbage. Look at this machine. Ooh. There's writing on it. It says F02937M3N07. And there's a blue flower on the side. Hmm. Would you like it for your collection? Oh. Completed the compressed garbage incident. Whoa. Wally, we don't have any more quests together? That won't do. Okay, this quest, I've had it for a little while and it's stuck. I can't take a picture of the dream castle. Uh, the ones that got away, Eternity Isle. Eternity Isle. Dreamly Valley. Unlock characters, Wally. Mother Gothel has new quests and Scrooge has new quests. We should probably finish this though. A sock stealing space alien strikes again. You found another sock. This has a G sewn into it. Find the villager who owns this shoot up sock. Oh! Goofy! 
Why? I've really lucked out. My neighbors are Excuse me. Hey, Goofy. Goofy. Goofy? Can we have a convo? Over here. Hello. Can we talk? I want to talk to you, sir. <gasps> oh. Here you are. Hi there, pal. What you got there? It's a sock. I was thinking it might be yours. <laughs> You're right. It's one of my socks. I've been looking for them everywhere. All my socks just up and disappeared the other day. All of them? Hmm. Now that I think about it, it was only half of them. The left sock out of every pair is gone. The left sock? But socks don't... Nice Never mind. This is getting weirder and weirder. I'll say. And that's not the only part that's weird. I saw some funny lights in the sky before it happened. I just thought it was some kind of shooting star, but now that I think about mm. it... Donald's been going on about sock-stealing space aliens for a week now. Maybe he's right. I believed him all along. Say, maybe the space aliens left behind some sort of clue when they messed up my house. Good idea, I'll look around your house for the clues. Okay, search Goofy's house for a clue. Goofy! Oh, right, he lives right over here. Right, right, right. I always forget where my villagers live. Don't ever have two villages. That's. It's so. It's complicated. Oh, what is going on in here, Goofy? Why are you. That's the boot for Wally. I don't know why he still has one. I thought I had that. I thought I picked it up and gave it to Wally. No, he may he gave me He told me where I could find one. That is Goofy's. Oh, I found a clue in Goofy's house. Pick it up. Okay. Oh! This. Blue fur. Is that fur? I thought that it was a jacket. Bring the blue fur to Donald. Oh! Blue fur! I know what the blue fur is from. Now I know. Oh, that took me so long to remember. Cat's pajamas? Where's Donald? He's gotta know about this. He's in for a rude awakening. Blue fur. Guess who it is? At this point, it can be like two different characters, I think. Here you go, Donald. What's that? Another clue? It's animal fur. Maybe one of the raccoons around Dreamlight Valley is getting into people's houses. It would make a lot more sense than space aliens. Don't be ridiculous. What kind of raccoon steals? Raccoon. <laughs> raccoon steals half of everybody's socks. That fur is blue. Besides, remember the funny doohickey we found in my house that didn't come from any raccoon? Hey, I just got an idea. The doohickey started beeping again. Let's see what happens when we put the fur inside it. Put the fur in the doohickey and see what it does. Put the fur in the doohickey and see what it does. Did you see that? It started flashing again. What does it say? What the fuck is a doohickey? It says DNA match. Authorization 66. Oh, the DNA machine. That, it's making even less sense than it did before. I think it means that fur comes from whatever is stealing everybody's socks. And that we might only need to find one more clue to get to get it to hundred percent. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that'll be easy. I'll keep my eyes out for any more clues. A sock stealing space alien strikes again. Complete. He's got a lot. Oh, 
Was that it, Donald? Are we done? Or are we also done? Where's Donald? I'm blind. Get Donald to level 6. Progress further with Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse. Oh, shoot a pooper. Donald, don't run away. Let's hang out. Can we be friends? Can we be friends? Do you like to fish? I think that's because you're Goofy's friend. Okay, let's go. Oh, and then also, we probably do need our quest. Because I like to do the quests. Ugh. Photo forever. I can't get a picture of the Dreamlight Castle. Okay, does it have to be inside or outside? Is there a thing? Because this is a glitch, I swear. I tried earlier. Oh, uh, that's Eternity Isle. <sighs> Scrooge. What do you think Scrooge could want, Donald? Do you think he's even at work right now? But he is. Scrooge, what did you need? I've got a job for you. Yeah. I know. Oh. You've got a lot. I hope these aren't just daily or whatever. Rebuild the valley. Which one am I looking for? Ah. ah, looks like you cleared up some trouble down on Dazzle Beach. Hey. Oh. Fine work, Jessica. That's promise wa that's prime waterfront real estate, you know. Ah. Which means you've got to develop it. Add your own special touches to the beach. I'll get all the right furniture to make it. Hip and trendy. Oh. <laughs> That'll certainly make it a quality tourist destination. <laughs> and however you decide to decorate, I know you'll make it a fine place for a tired... Businessman to relax and count his money. I need to talk to you. Rebuild the valley, Dazzle Beach. Oh, it's literally just to place ten pieces of furniture. Hello. Okay, let's pick up another one. Oh. Oh. Bye -bye hey, wait. Now. Rebuild the valley, peaceful meadow. Oh, oh I think it's gonna be the same for all of these. Could use a bit more polish. Of course, with your integrity, I'm sure you'll make the meadow a world-class travel destination in no time. Don't worry, I'll decorate the meadow to look chicken modern. Just remember to make it 110% Jessica. Oh, and come have a gander at me wares if you are in need of any more furniture. That is really hard for me to talk, talk like you. that. I can't do that. I can't do that. Uh-huh. Uh. -huh. uh uh okay so then it's literally the same thing forest of valor and glade of trust oh okay so we're decorating places a perfect place for a romantic picnic forest of valor i think right what would you say forest of valor is kind uh -huh. of really pretty a good day to you and the glade of trust we have to place furniture in the glade of trust uh sunny and inviting is that the glade of trust is that what you would say and i've got no doubt that you'd succeed -da -da. Bye, i think he has one more huh? ah. do we have enough furniture to do all this sounds bad but i can help ah, ah, oh that's the spirit we'll expose the fiend for the name it isn't scrooge mcduck what did we do did i click on stuff and not pay attention Here's the plan. Go ask for a catfish. They're very common in the village waters. Then we'll see what she wants in exchange. Oh, oh we're talking about Ursula. I'm sure she'll try to extort you. So let me know what she says. Ah, the sun's shining almost Rebuild the valley, the Glade of Trust. What? Huh? I guess that wasn't at all the same as the other ones. Uh, I have a tooth pain. Don't judge me. Bye bye, now. It'll go away in like ten minutes. Screwed! You made me destroy my village. I'm time. Good day to you. 
Uh, complete this. Dazzle Beach one. Yeah, it's never looked finer. Has it not? Oh. Maybe now you could try swimming in the ocean instead of a pool of money. Or I could do both. Nothing relaxes me quite like a dip in me money. Well done. Dazzle Beach. Complete. Hello. Ah. Complete the rebuild of the peaceful me meadow. <laughs> but you mustn't stop there. If you keep crafting furniture or purchasing it from me at a reasonable price, you'll make the meadow shine like a gold, like the gold in me money bin. Ah, oh, don't walk away. I'm not done with you, sir. You got more stuff to complete. Like two more. Things. Complete rebuild the valley. Force of Valor. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's very splendid. Onward. Well done. Very well. Complete. Now speak uh. with me one more time. Yes, yes. This I'm trying to make it quick like as well. Me. Rebuild the valley, Relate of Trust. Wow, that was fast. Uh. Do I need anything else with you? Oh? Yeah. Sunbathing? <laughs> Goodbye now. Toodaloo. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is also Dreamlight Valley. I think this is a quest I was looking for earlier. But he wants me to put ten pieces of furniture in the sun of Plateau. Plateau. And make a deal with Ursula so you can expose her methods. Ugh. Okay. Let's go to the sunlit place. That I feel like I'm not properly pronouncing. Somebody tell me if I'm doing it correctly. Let's place some furniture here and then find that squid lady. The octopus woman. La 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 la. The evil lady with the tentacles. Okay, is that... Yeah, okay. No. Yeah, okay. And now, make a deal with Ursula. Oh my goodness. Ursula has no legs, so we'll find her in the water. But where exactly are you, Ursula? I swear, we're gonna go one place, she's gonna pop up in another. Huh. Oh. She's in the forest. Tricky little thing. Tricky little thing. Do 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 do. <clears throat> She's oh look a little raccoon. Hello. I'm not good at befriending the animals in this game. Ursula! Hello, dear! Well, hello, angelfish. What can I do for a curious human like yourself? I want to make a deal. How? Delicious. I'm intrigued. What kind of deal would you have in mind? So there's this catfish I would love to have. To cook? Mm -hmm. You want to have your catfish and eat it too? Hmm. Of course, we must discuss the subject of payment. You can't get something so rare for nothing you know. Bring me one of the most unique flowers in the village, a white and red hydrangea. If you can do that, I'll get you your catfish. Do we have a deal? Yes, we have a deal. Marvelous, dearie. Why are you still Uh. Oh my goodness, this lady, she doesn't move far. But I swear, oh, it's because I said something. Come here, my hey. child. I was trying to give you your flower. Now give me my fish. Aren't you a good little minnow? Now, as agreed, here's your extremely rare fish you wanted. I hope it's all you wish for. Thank you. Pretty sure I've caught those before. Have we got a deal? No, oh, I had to help her with her thing. Bring Scrooge McDuck the catfish as proof of your deal with Ursula. So I made a deal with Ursula 
to get a catfish for a flower? Is it because the catfish is rare? Is that why it's not a good thing to do? Okay, Scrooge. Neighbor. Good day to you. Complete rebuild the valley. And then... Oh, okay. I thought I did that. As I live and breathe, the sunlit plateau has gone from a parched desert to a fine spot for any sightseer. And the village economy just keeps getting stronger. Thanks to you, well Jessica. Done. Nice. But Scrooge, we have something else to talk about. Here's your catfish. Uh huh. Brilliant. So, what was her fair price for this catfish? She asked me to get her one of the rarest flowers in the oh. village. As I expected, her deals are consumer traps. One of the rarest flowers in the village exchange for a common fish easily caught in any village waters. This is outrageous. It's time to expose that crook for what she is. I'm going to give her a piece of my mind. Uh oh. Go see Ursula with Scrooge McDuck. Uh-oh. This won't be any good. Guys, where is Ursula? She's still in the forest. No. In the meadow. Is she gonna make this easy? She's at home. Okay. La 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 Oh, Ursula! You're here! Finally! Here you are, finally! So, Ursula, what's your secret to life? Sorry, I can't talk now. Why are you still here? Shoo! I have proof of your fishy business practices, and they stink. What's the matter, Scroogey? Afraid of a little competition? <gasps> Never! <sighs> Yawn. I'll find a way to put an end to your dastardly dealings. But how, when you'll be so busy searching for these? Coins. Ah. Uh -huh. Shiny, isn't it? Look closely. It just washed up ashore. I suppose it must come from a vast treasure of some sort. Don't you? Curse me, kilts. A gold coin. One lonely gold coin. Hmm. And where there's one, there's usually many more. <laughs> Never mind what I came here for. I need to go. Scrooge. Oh my goodness. So predictable. Ha ha ha. Hey, over here. Oh my god. Is I looking at the mirror? Good yeah, we'll day, talk. Dear. Never mind that dreadful business with Ursula. We have a far more pressing matter now. <laughs> there's treasure in the village, and we cannot let it be found by anyone but us. I'll search what the treasure might be. I'll I'll research what the treasure might be and get in touch as soon as I know more. Splendid work. What's bad for the business? Complete. Okay. We really don't have anything else to do together. Oh my god. How could you? That's fine because Mother Gothel wants to talk to me. And I want to talk to Mother Gothel. Huh. Where is she? Oh, of course she's at home. That would make sense. Hmm. 
Oh my goodness. What doesn't make sense is all the junk I left around. Huh. Hi, Mother Gothel. Oh good, the Valley's Gopher is here. Tell me you have time to obtain an aircraft for me. I'm desperate. I'm in desperate need. What do you need? That merchant with the feather. Stooge, is it? He has magical scroll. The sun scroll. It doesn't lead to riches, so it's completely useless to him. It does lead to the sunstone, though. A magical artifact that will help us restore the giant willow in the glade. Plus, there's an insignificant little side effect that keeps me forever young. But the important thing is that everyone will benefit. I doubt the merchant even knows what the sun scroll does. So be a deer and fetch it for me. Has Mr. McDuck agreed to give it to you? Uh -huh. Not in so many words, but that can be quickly fixed. We'll simply spy on him, learn where he hid the sun scroll, and then take it for my ourselves. I think I'll just talk to Scrooge. Mm. I should have known you couldn't do such a simple task. Fine, run along then. Maybe Scrooge McDuck will make a deal with you. As long as you bring me back the scroll, I don't care how you do it. Oh, the valley is coming along nicely. My kingdom for a scroll. Quest started. I literally thought we already... Okay. We still have to talk to Scrooge. So I guess this is still kind of Scrooge's territory, isn't it? Why is Scrooge always making deals with... Oh, he's a businessman. Answering my own questions. Mid-sentence. That's how I do. Ah, That's all I got all the time in my head. It's annoying. Ah, there's Scrooge. I need to talk to you. Oh, I need to talk to you. Why do you think I'm here, man? I know you have a strange item called the Sun Scroll in your possession. Can I buy it from you? No need to pay. I'll consider parting with it in exchange for a wee favor. You might have noticed some unsavory characters lurking about the village. I suspect they have stickly fingers. Sticky fingers? I must protect the shop from thieves, so I want to install something that records all the comings and goings. And I already have a design in mind. It looks like a plant with some very special fruit. I call it a Mike Berry tree. I love it. Ah, you're a visionary, just like me. Now, if you want the sun scroll, you know what to do. Uh -huh. the, the Mike Berry tree should look like a potted plant. You'll need softwood and soil. Also, some electronic components I'm sure you can find in a box of them in Wally's house. The resourceful wee fella, that one. Ah. Once it's made, place it in front of my shop, then I'll give you the information that you need. Hope you have a Off to Wally's house we go, Donald. La, 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 la. Okay. What were we doing? Oh, right. Wally's house. This is our first time walking in here. Isn't that crazy? Or what? I think it is. Do you think these are the electronic components? This is a memory. Whoa, so surprised! But of what? That's the question. A piece of paper. Fantastic. Oh, hey, it's the parts. Okay. I already had all of the other stuff because I was hoarding things. And I think that's the best thing to do for my videos is, you know, just go and forage a bunch of random stuff and put it in my boxes. And then when I have quests, I don't have to spend like three hours, you know, looking for soil, chopping wood, and then have to edit it out can just be productive. What did she want? No. She. He. There's a Mike Berry tree. It's weird that Scrooge wants the tree. Oh, but it's a quest for Mother Gothel, so that's why her photo's on it. We have to place this near his store. Here we are. Boom. It's beautiful, Scrooge. Don't you love it? Hey, I've got a job for you. 
Thank you kindly, Jessica. Now here's all you need to know to find the scroll. I hid it away in the village before the forgetting, so I'm not clear on the details, but I trust you to find it. I buried the scroll in a locked chest near a cave on Dazzle Beach, though I cannot remember which one. As for the key to open the chest, you'll have to fish out that from the pool in the glade. The one with the ruins? Okay, so fish the key out of the ruins. What? Okay. Bye bye now! Scrooge! Find Scrooge McDuck's key in the glade. Well, I guess that's the first thing. First things first, huh? Okay. Fishing in the pond. Well, this is his favorite thing to do, isn't it? That wasn't a key. Bummer. How do we know? Do you think it'll be shiny? Would you look at that? Oh, and I got another lobster? See, it's always worth it. That wasn't a key, wasn't it? That was a bottle? Okay. Level six. So, that wasn't a key. Or was it? Hold on. We'll finish this and then we'll look. See what this is the description is? Emerald bottle, something shining inside. Oh, an emerald sliver. A tiny green piece of something larger, handle with care. Weird, it's a quest item? Those are cute, but now I'm confused. Do we have the key, maybe? And we don't know it. We'll try one more. And then we'll go look for the lost chest on the beach. I think by the cave is what they said. That was so fishy. Oh, so that means we have to go all the way to the other side. I don't... I can't get rid of those things blocking the... Hmm. The Mabobber. I believe it to be over here. That's just a memory. At the beach. Huh. I thought they said something about it being near the cave. That's okay. Look at this guy, he's always ready to make us something to eat. He's doing it right now. Oh my goodness, how would we have known? I literally thought, oh. Okay, find Scrooge's key in the glade. So we definitely didn't find it. Good to know. I thought maybe once we got the chest, what we had in our pocket would be it, but that's not how that worked out. Ooh, excuse me. Am I always yawning in my videos? I 
I swear, I'm not always sleepy. quest crazy they're everywhere all I did was pick up a piece of paper on the ground Gorge. Look at all the great stuff oh I've hey got. goofy fancy seeing you here I'm hanging out with Donald and we're fishing doing your favorite thing with your best friend You know what would really give me energy? This damn lobster. So good! Mm-mm. Oh no! I almost didn't get that because I was scratching my shoulder. I'm gonna get the key at some point, right? It's meant to be. This is the key. Cross your fingers. Manifest. It's a fish. Cool, but can this be a key? And if it's not a key, can whatever you throw be a key? Oh, that's frustrating. I wanted the red one. so bad at this there we go fishing is not my favorite thing to do I think they know that oh my goodness it's the key yay okay 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 bring the chest and the key to mother gothel is that why we had to fish here Find Mother Gothel and bring you the key in the chest, but first I'm gonna dig that spot up. Cause I can, and I really had the urge to get rid of that. No, 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 no. Oh wait, where is she? I don't even know where Mother Gothel is. I'm just assuming she's at home. She's in the forest! Kind of weird. Okay, Mother Gothel, where are you? Hmm. Here is the chest and the key. Whatever is inside of it. Ugh. Oh, hello, dear. The chest and the key. Yep, I did Marvelous. just say that. The sun scroll. Oh. This brings me one step closer to finding the sunstone, and all it took was enormous effort on my part. Oh. Of course, you assisted. I'll be sure to tell you when you can be of use again. Now run along, I have a scroll to study. My kingdom from a, for a scroll is complete. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Oh goodness, Mother Gothel, you are a terrible, terrible. We picked this up earlier. Uh, you found something strange in the Glade of Trust. Return to Merlin. Return Merlin's notes to him. Oh, Merlin, we have your notes. Where are you? Oh? He moves fast. Do you think he'll be there when we get there? As fast as lightning. Oh my goodness, he's in the plaza. This guy moves quick. Merlin? Oh, he's in the meadow. 
Stop moving, Merlin. Watch the fish or something. A moment, if you would. I'm Look what I found. Hello. Hmm, what have you got there? Aha, my notes. Why have I been looking everywhere for ah, these? Yes. And it's a good thing you found them too. I wouldn't have wanted them for wanted them to fall into the wrong hands. I couldn't understand what they said. Must be important wizard business. I suppose that's true in a sense. Well. You see, I fear there's nefarious business afoot. So I began noting down my observations. Mother Gothel and Ursula have been meeting me all around the village. These two are up to no good, I know it. You can't trust either of them. That's why I've been looking I've been keeping track of their little meetings. Four times now. I've caught them scheming together. You've been exchanging all manner of well they've been exchanging. All manner. Well, of mysterious ingredients in vials. And the moment I draw near, they clam up and run off. Eh, I suppose in Ursula's case, I mean, I say swim off. They must be up to no good. Of course they are, but I suppose we should get some proof of exactly what they're up to. I'm afraid my magic only shows me so much. Oh, yes. Ursula and Mother mm -hmm. Gothel both trust you for more than they do me. Perhaps... We can use that to our advantage. I suspect that you could get a close enough you could get close enough to hear what they're scheming about. The fate of Dreamlight Valley depends on it. Oh dear, well I certainly hope that's not the case. Most likely. It's just some petty scheme they've concocted. But we can't be too careful about uh -huh. these two. Now I may now blah blah blah. Now I may not be able to prognosticate what Mother Gossel and Ursula are scheming about. But I do know precisely where they'll be meeting oh. next. They gather each day in the Glade of Trust. Yeah. <laughs> they already met there earlier today, so you'll have to wait until tomorrow to catch them. Remember, the Glade of Trust. The okay, Merlin. Depending on you, my friend. So I'm depending on you, my friend. And in that case, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys like and subscribe. Thank you so much.